Montenegro, renowned for its splendor, the coast, the Bay of Kotor, and its lakes and rivers. The waters of the Adriatic, their majesty and force, and inspiring beauty. Beneath the Adriatic lies a wealth of fish resources, which have provided man with sustenance for thousands of years. Fish, a renewable natural resource that, if managed efficiently, provides a sustainable source of work, recreation and food. Our fish, our sustainable resource, fish that belongs to the people of Montenegro for the benefit of fishermen and many others including fish processors and sellers for consumption by Montenegrins and tourists. But Montenegro's wealth of fish resources is threatened by overfishing and illegal fishing to the point where if something isn't done there'll be much less fish reducing work and recreational opportunities with product having to be imported to meet market demand. Even now our fish are not nearly as plentiful as they used to be. Green fields should not be turned into deserts nor trees felled indiscriminately nor wild animals hunted to extinction nor is it acceptable that our precious fish resources are wasted do you think our fish stocks should be overexploited? Just because they're out of sight does not mean they should be out of mind and that nothing should be done to ensure their sustainable use. This is not alarmist talk. While the situation in Montenegro does not appear to be as bad as in the rest of the Adriatic, the signs are there. And while fish do not recognize international boundaries and many of our stocks are shared with neighboring countries in the Adriatic, we in Montenegro must also take action to stop the situation getting worse. General, in the Adrian Skomor, all scientific reports show that the fish are in danger of being destroyed, and that the fish are in danger of being destroyed. In collaboration with all of us, we have to make the right decisions that will allow the fish to be destroyed and the fish to be destroyed in the Adrian Skomor, and the fish to be destroyed in the future. Much of the fishing is carried out by licensed fishermen who respect the laws and regulations. But some fishermen do not respect the rules governing such things as fishing areas, minimum fish sizes and minimum mesh sizes, all of which are designed to protect stocks. Some may even use dynamite that not only kills all the fish but damages the habitat and the ecosystem. There is an unbreakable link between our fish and our ecosystem. Overfishing unbalances the ecosystem. Destroy one resource and you threaten others. In the Adriatic, not only man, but also birds, cetaceans and turtles depend on the health of fish stocks for their survival. Many people don't understand that carrying on like this is not sustainable. And if something isn't done, our fish resources will greatly reduce just as they have in many places around the world. So what is the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development doing to make sure that in future there are fish in our waters? Working with a project to the European Union, we are strengthening the capacity of the Ministry, Fisheries Enforcement, the Institute of Marine Biology and stakeholders to maintain a sustainable fishery. Fishery managers will set rules to control the number and types of vessels that are allowed to fish and where and when they may fish, mesh sizes and minimum fish sizes. All the information and analysis will be contained in an integrated fishery management plan that will be developed in full cooperation with stakeholders and updated regularly. Fishermen must respect the laws and regulations that are introduced to protect resources and their own futures. We will strengthen enforcement with fish inspectors checking boats and landed fish to make sure fishermen are obeying the control rules. The Institute will advise the Ministry and fishermen on the amount of fish that can safely be harvested each year without affecting the total species population. We will respond to their advice when it tells us to lower the catch and we'll also increase the minimum mesh sizes of fish nets to reduce the catch of juvenile fish. Managers, inspectors and scientists can only do so much. Around the world it's widely acknowledged that fisheries management can only be effective if it includes a real input from fishermen and other interest groups and we will empower them in the fishery management process. I have a lot of money in the 
We all have a part to play in making sure our fish is harvested sustainably and responsibly. It is our collective responsibility to protect our fish. We should not buy juvenile fish. We should report illegal fishing to the authorities. And we should make sure our parents and friends understand the importance of caring for our futures by protecting our natural resources. Eating fish is good for everyone, especially those fish that have high levels of omega-3 fatty acids, such as sardine and anchovy, that help develop our brain and memory. It's our fish and our birthright, and we want our children and future generations to enjoy a healthy ecosystem. We need to care about our future and we do everything we can to protect our environment and ensure that our fish are used in a safe way, in our benefit, as well as in our benefit of the future generation. Our responsibility is to ensure a healthy ecosystem, which will ensure the profit of the fish in the fish sector, not only now, but also in the future. We are working for the development of the fish sector, for the development of the fish sector, for the protection of the fish sector, u saradnji sa zainteresovanim stranama koje dijele našu viziju budućnosti. Unaprijedit ćemo naučni doprinos i poboljšati izvršenje i sprovođenje jasnog plana upravljanja ribarstvom. Ohrabrujem ribare, prerađivače, ekološke grupe i društvo da aktivno učestvuju u ovim procesima. Siguran sam da će zajednička aktivnost dovesti do zdravog ribarskog sektora koji obezbeđuje poslove ili štiti prirodne resurse koji su važan dio našeg ekosistema.